There is no school today. District 227 made this an emergency closure day so it can prepare for the return to remote learning. Beginning Monday, students will attend classes online for two weeks. Schools are open for students and staff to pick up whatever they need for remote learning. Damari and Larkins had not heard and showed up for classes this morning. I'm disappointed, yeah. I'm, I'm really disappointed, but I understand it because it, they have COVID, somebody has COVID. So I understand that people die over this stuff. So I understand it. This letter went out last night from Rich Township School District 227. It doesn't say how many students have COVID. It states two or more people tested positive. Wednesday night, parents of football players received an email alerting them of a player with COVID. They were instructed to get their kids tested before school Thursday morning. One parent tells us when her son got his test result, he saw a teammate had tested positive. And he actually alerted the, the administration to this. They didn't even know where the student was. He had been gone and out playing basketball with the rest of his peers, not football players, regular students. Other parents complain of the district's handling of the situation and the short notice. They're giving us things to do with no explanation. If we don't know, how would the kids know? So there's no guidance, there's no structure, and it honestly seems like they don't care because they there was no action taken immediately. The football team had to forfeit Saturday's game against Kankakee. Next weekend is homecoming. Parents of football players say that homecoming game may not happen either. School administrators say no student who tested positive was allowed to remain on campus. Teachers and staff returned on the 15th. Students returned to in-person learning on the 18th. In Olympia Fields, Judy Wang, WGN News.